Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades that were posted on Monday, 6th of November 2023. These trades were shared by AA who's trading Nasdaq CFT. If we look at the macro chart, we see that the price was in uptrend, but now it is in area of consolidation and you can see in the structural chart, the wide range sideways channel. So using a smaller time frame, this uptrend wave was taken with setup C with two long positions and he managed for quick scalp and exited with exit strategy number one with profit. So thank you AA for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by Yasin who's trading S&P 500 futures. If we look at the macro charts, we see that the price is in downtrend and broke this level and is gaining momentum. So using this uh, structural chart, he identified this area of the downtrend channel and when the pullback got completed in the trading chart, he entered one sell short position for quickest call based on algo 1 to 5 and managed and close it with exit strategy number 1 with profit. So thank you Yasin for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by MG who's trading Dow Jones CFT. As you see the macro chart was in downtrend but broke up and the buyers came back strongly after rejection of price at this level. So this uptrend channel in the structural chart was taken using a smaller trading chart and he identified several long entries and entered and managed them with exit strategy number one with profit. So thank you MG for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by RA from Seattle who's trading Nasdaq futures. As you see the opening of the market here, we were in uptrend in the bigger structures but the price initially went up and tested this level and got rejected. So after rejection of price here at this resistance level, he entered with setup B here with quick scalp and exit and close it with profit. When the price reached enough pullback in the uptrend, he took a long position for quick scalp and when the price retested again the support area, he entered another position and closed it with break even. The result of this trade shows here profit factor of 47 with 66% win rate and average win to loss ratio of 23. So thank you RA for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by Sam or Global Instructor from Australia who is trading Gold USD using the path system for swing trading mainly. Here is Asian session and he saw the gold was in downtrend and you can see that the price got rejected at the resistance level and downtrend channel in the structural chart. So when this broke down and retested this level slightly and had a small pullback, he entered here with sell short position and managed and close it with very good risk reward ratio with setup C and you can see the result of this trade here. So thank you Sam for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades are those that I have taken during the New York market session and the video with detailed explanation was sent to students yesterday. So I'm going to replay the video here for you. Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you the trades that I have taken today on Monday, 6th of November 2023. These trades were taken on Nasdaq and Dow Jones futures. If we look at the macro charts of one hour, we see that the price was fluctuating above the previous day close. And during the New York market session, initially it started to go up after retesting the point of control. So this wave of uptrend was taken on Nasdaq and Dow Jones and later it went down and continued to retest this and went completely down. So the signals from these charts were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funds accounts. And we see that the result is positive showing the profit factor of 1.72 with 81% win rate and average win to loss ratio of 0.71. The largest winning and losing trades were around $500. So I hope this trade is taken by the PAN system is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.